Hi, welcome back to class. Multiplication is one of those common operations you'll find in matrices. In our last lesson, we saw addition of matrices. In this lesson, I will explain the concept of multiplication of matrices and the different types of multiplication. That's it. Let's get into class. There are basically two types of multiplication when it comes to matrices. The first is scalar multiplication. And the second is matrix multiplication. Like you can see for the scalar multiplication, it's all about picking your matrix and multiplying it with a scalar quantity, like a number, a1, a2, or at times might even be an alphabet. While the matrix multiplication involves multiplying one matrix with the other. Let's see the scalar multiplication. Now, here is an, here is an example of a scalar multiplication where I have a 2 by 3 matrix multiplying 5. Now, what will I do in this case? You pick your 5 and you multiply by each element in this matrix so that my 5, the first element here will be 5 times 4. The second element will be 5 times 7. The third will be 5 times 6. Then the fourth will be 5 times 2. Then I'll have my 5 times 3. Then I'll have my 5 times 1. Now I can now conclude it. 5 times 4 will be the same thing as 20. 5 times 7, that's 35. 5 times 6, that's 30. 5 times 2, that's 10. 5 times 3, that's 15. And 5 times 1, that's 5. So we can close the bracket. So here is my multiplication. Now, the same thing will happen if, let's take for example, I have a matrix of probably 3, 4, 2, and 1, and I'm to multiply this by x. Obviously, this is going to become 3x, 5x, 2x, and here I'll have x. Now, whichever way it comes, as long as it's a scalar multiplication, you use the scale to multiply each element in your matrix. Now, let's see a common example for matrix multiplication. Here is a 2 by 2 matrix. Now, for matrix multiplication, one unique thing you must observe with matrix multiplication is that the number of columns must be the same thing as the number of the corresponding row. What do I mean? If matrix A is probably a 2 by 2 matrix and I'm multiplying it with matrix B, which is also a 2 by 2 matrix, you observe here that the number of columns here is 2 for matrix A and the number of rows for matrix B is also what? 2. So these two matrices can multiply each other conveniently. What of if it's a 3 by 3 matrix multiplying 2 by 2 matrix? Now if matrix X now is a 3 by 3 matrix and it's to multiply matrix Y which is a 3 by 3 matrix, a 2 by 3 2 by 2 matrix. Obviously, this multiplication will not work. Will not work. It will not work. Why? Because the number of rows or the number of columns in this matrix X is not the same as the number of rows. We'll see it in action shortly. Now, my matrix A says A is equal to 6. 8, 3, and 4, while B is equals to 2, 4, 2, and 1. The multiplication of A times B will look like, here I'll have matrix 6, 8, 3, and 4, multiplying matrix 2, 4, 2, and 1. Let's open these brackets. 
or let's expand the matrix so that it's going to look like 6 will multiply 2 that I have it as 6 times 2 plus 8 to multiply 2 8 times 2 then 6 and 8 again will multiply 4 and 1 so that it becomes 6 times 4 plus 8 times 1 3 and 4 will multiply 2 and 2 so it becomes 3 times 2 plus 4 times 2 and 3 and 4 again to multiply 3, 4 and 1 so this should look like 3 times 4 plus 4 times 1 let's close up this bracket so that my matrix now looks like 6 times 2 that's 12 plus 8 times 2 that's 16 and 6 times 4 that's 24 plus 8 times 1 that's 8 and 3 times 2 that's 6 plus 8 4 times 2 that's 8 8 times 4 again that's 12 plus 4 times 1 that's 4 so my final answer will look like 12 plus 16 that's 28 24 plus 8 that's 32 8 plus 6 that's 14 and 12 plus 4 that's 16 so here is the multiplication or the product of a and b let's take another example this example my a is a 2 by 3 matrix and my b is a 3 by 1 matrix So that the product of A times B will now look like 4, 2, 7, 3, 6, 1, times 8, 5, and 9. Now, from this example, if you look at it carefully, you observe that this is a 2 by 3 matrix multiplying a 3 by one matrix obviously my the number my column here is the same thing as my rule so this multiplication will work but what will be the end result the end result of this matrix will be a two by one matrix because i have my rows in a is two and my column in b is one now observe the rules once again the number of columns in A, the number of rows in B must be the same. And it will result into a matrix which will contain your number of rows for A and the number of columns for B. Let's take this as an example. This becomes 4, 4 times 8 plus 7 times 5 let's group them to make it easier to observe plus 6 times 9 and I'll have 2 times 8 plus 3 times 5 plus 1 times 9 now so that my final product will now look like 4 times 8, that's 32, plus 7 times 5, that's 35, plus 6 times 9, that's 54. And the second rule will carry 2 times 6, 2 times 8, that's 16, plus 3 times 5, that's 15, plus 1 times 9, that's 9. Let's sum them together. Let's sum them together. So that this will come from 32 plus 35, that's 60, 
67. 67, 67 plus 54. That's 1. And that's 121. So I'll have 121. And 16 plus 15, that's 31. Plus 9, that's 40. So here is a product, and if you look at this carefully, like I said at the beginning, it should result into a 2 by 1 matrix. This matrix has 2 rows and 1 column. Now, with this, I hope you understand how to work with matrix.